Hi friends! In this video, we will learn to secure the VOIP card from being hacked or misused. Nowadays, VOIP calling is gaining more popularity. And why not, as it reduces cost for calling, equipment, cabling, manpower, and maintenance, thus making international and long-distance calling cheaper. These IP devices communicate through Internet, and hence they are kept in the Internet cloud that can be accessed and reached publicly, means these devices have their own identity as public IP. Have you thought about security of these devices? Being over the Internet cloud, these devices are prone to hacking. Anybody can have an access of your device illegally if your device is not secured at all. A hacker can change the device's settings and can avail the services for his use. He can even damage the whole device. Same is the case with VOIP card of eternity. So there must be some security for the VOIP card to prevent it from the internet threats. Matrix Eternity provides complete security solutions for VOIP calling. As you are very well aware that VOIP card is needed for VOIP calling in Eternity and you have to program the VOIP settings for each and every utility. Thus, for security purpose, also Eternity provides some facility. They are Whitelist IP Address Logical Partition Digest Authentication We will explain these features one by one. Whitelist IP Address it is also known as call restriction based on IP address. Generally, when VOIP card uses public IP address, it is recommended to allow traffic from particular IP addresses only. To apply this feature, you will need to go to whitelist IP address under VOIP configuration. Here you get a table to enter some IP addresses and their respective subnet masks. For an instance, we have defined an IP address 116.72.251.75 in this table. If you have enabled the flag of enable IP address based on call traffic restriction, only call traffic from this IP address will be allowed and the rest of the call traffic will be blocked by VOIP card. Moreover, if you have enabled the flag to restrict call traffic based on IP address and you haven't defined any IP address in the table, then all calls will get blocked. Logical Partition It is a kind of restriction on routing between different types of trunk interfaces like VOIP to GSM, VOIP to PRI, and so on. Each trunk other than VOIP has a fixed category defined to it. Now, you can restrict the call flow between these trunks on Logical Partition page. You can allow the routing between any two trunks by selecting Allow Between Two Categories. Here, Category reflects the trunk. For example, if you want calls to be routed between SIP trunks, then allow VOIP to VOIP only and keep REST options restricted. Hence, call from SIP to other trunks will not be allowed. Digest Authentication Earlier features we discussed are applicable on whole VOIP port, but Digest Authentication is a security feature which is applicable on a particular SIP trunk. This feature is used only when SIP trunk is configured as a peer-to-peer -peer trunk, not for a proxy SIP trunk. Incoming peer-to-peer -peer SIP trunk can be limited to specific users based on credentials, like Authentication ID and Authentication Password. Thus, caller has to prove his authenticity first, and only then his call will be routed through eternity. To authenticate a caller, you need to configure Digest Authentication table. Go to Digest Authentication under VOIP configuration. Here, you have to assign user ID and user password to a caller. The caller will then enter the user ID and user password provided by eternity at his end. Go to SIP Trunk Parameters. In Advanced section, enable the Digest Authentication flag on the peer-to-peer -peer SIP Trunk on which you need an authentication. Thus, when that caller will call on this SIP Trunk, Eternity will check the authentication. If it matches the Digest Authentication table, 
then it will allow the call to pass through it. This is how you can secure your VOIP card or VOIP port with Eternity. Hope you are now clear with the configuration. Thank you for watching this video. For further queries, please contact Matrix Technical Support Team.